Now, Russell, you've been up close with the King now for more than a week. How is he feeling? This has been a very big tour for him, given he's still undergoing cancer treatment. How has he coped? Well, it's interesting. I mean, it's a tale of two halves, really, because I think the King um, would say himself he was tired. It's, it's a big, long journey from uh, from the UK. He didn't have much of a rest day. They had that one down day on the Saturday. And, you know, I was with him at engagements. I did think he look, looked a little tired. I mean, we were all tired. It's been quite a punishing schedule, regardless of him pausing his cancer treatment for a couple of weeks. The schedule really was still very, very busy. But, you know, I think he's really got together with the jet lag. He's, uh, he's really enjoyed being in Australia. He spoke very, very fondly of a land that he's cherished since he was a, a young man that shaped him who he is today. And he's really bought into the spirit of island life here in Samoa. So I think all in all, the palace is going to be really, really impressed with how things have gone. You know, it's, uh, it's been a tale of very, very two different scenarios, two different countries. But when they take stock of the whole tour, I think they'll be very, very impressed with how their things have gone.